funny. I don't know if we want to share that with the camera, though. No, you don't. You don't. It's you actually don't. really funny. No. But. <laughs> Pascal and I's first date was at a rooftop, like a lounge. Um, it was called 235th, yeah. right? 235th Avenue. We decided to meet up there, and it was raining, so we sat on the inside of the lounge and uh, we talked for hours and hours and hours and then we got hungry and so we went to a near what would we call 40 40 club yeah. so jay-z's 40 40 club we went there for dinner yeah. and then it got so loud we couldn't even hear each other talk we were literally like yelling at the top of our lungs and still couldn't hear each other talk so yeah. we went to like a piano bar or something yeah like that, it was called flat iron lounge so then we sat there for hours and talked and talked and talked until like three o'clock in the morning um, he helped me a cab, and then um, we texted when we both got home safely. The first time I saw her was like, wow, she she's very beautiful. But the thing that stood out about her about her beauty to me was her eyes, like her eyes. And I always tell I tell her all the time, like you have the most beautiful eyes I've ever seen. Not only is she pretty, not only is she beautiful, but she's beautiful on the inside, you know. So and we share a lot of the same values and and same principles and a lot of common likes that you know that we have particularly the one where we don't like people wearing shoes in our house that's the <laughs> that was the first time we were just like we, that, was, that was like one of the first things we realized wow yeah, we first have thing. that in common because people always think we're crazy for that so <laughs> it was nice to kind of meet someone who uh, were on the same page uh, when it came to that i'm not sure that i'm a believer in love at first sight to be honest with you i would say that um, as soon as I saw Pascal's picture for the first time, um, I was taken by him. I didn't actually see his picture until maybe three days after we had already been talking back and forth. And so that's really what sold me on him. Um, and then when I saw him, I thought I was, I was very happy. But love grew. Love grows. I believe that love grows. I believe that love is instantaneous. I knew Nicole was the one probably around three months into our relationship. I had a, I already planned a trip to Paris with my friends and and um, and she was going to Jamaica. Um, and that was the first time like since we started dating where we kind of spent time um, apart. Every chance we got, you know, we, we, we got on the phone, we spoke, we text, and uh, at that moment when we, especially particularly when I came back, I was just like, wow, I can't, I don't want, I don't want this to. I don't want us to have this much time apart again, so that was, that was that. The type of wife that I hope to be is a very supportive wife, um, a wife that stands by Pascal at all times, um, a wife that's truthful. I see us um, just having a life of fun together. He makes me happy and I hope that I'm the wife that also makes him happy. I don't have many pet peeves that Pascal. However, Pascal is just very like even keeled and like go with the flow. There's no like speeding up the process, right? He kind of like takes his time, get things done, and he's very methodical about things. And I think that's great. It's just that when I'm in a rush, it, it's just like, <laughs> what I love about Nicole the most is just her overall personality. Like I think she, she honestly is the, one of the best people, human beings I've ever met in my life. And it just so happens that I'm going to marry her, but she's literally the best person I've ever met. My love, Pascal, I want you to know that you are the love of my life. Um, I believe that every experience before you has only prepared me to be the best wife for you. Um, I can't wait to spend my life with you. Uh, today is our wedding day and this is just day one of our journey together. I realize that it's just one day and that our marriage is bigger than just our wedding day. And so, as I walk down the aisle to you to join my life with yours, I, I'm full of hope. I'm full of hope 
for all of the great times that we're gonna have together, all of the hard times that we're gonna support each other through, and just the love and, and friendship that will continue to grow daily between us. I love you so very much, and I really cannot wait to be your wife. I love you, my love. Nicole, I want you to know that I will strive to be the best God-fearing husband that I can possibly be. Um, you deserve it. You deserve, you deserve everything you could possibly want because you are uh, the greatest person I've ever met. And it's an honor and a privilege and a blessing to have you in my life. And, and I'm so blessed that God has put you in my life and, and that you will be my wife. And it's almost too unbelievable to, to believe that it's actually going to happen. But on that day when you walk down the aisle, I very much look forward to, to seeing you come down and and watching how beautiful you're, you're going to look and, and, and knowing that you will become my wife in a few minutes from that point. And um, I'm very much looking forward to that. And I will, I will always be there. I will always be on your corner. I will be the, I'll be the best husband I could possibly be. And, um, and, I, and I know that um, we will live happily ever after, truly, truly live happily ever after together because you are perfect for me.